Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I hope that you are doing amazing. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a message for the sign of Leo. If you have Leo placements, chances are there could be messages in this reading for you. Please do check your other signs, check your other placements as well of your birth chart. It's interesting stuff if you haven't done so already or if you are not versed in checking birth chart stuff. This may or may not resonate, Leo. If it does not, please come back next time. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel so far. I very much appreciate you. Let's see what you need to know, Leo, at this time. I could be picking up on your energy, Leo. I could be picking up on the energy of somebody around you. Flip, switch the roles as you see fit. Do not force any shoes to fit you, as this may not be your reading. Please leave it for somebody else if it does not resonate. Let's get into this. Wealthy man flipped over. Okay, let's get into this. Messages for Leo. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Leo needs to know at this time. Let's go. Messages for Leo. We've got wealthy man. Wealthy man really wants to be seen. Who was it that got the wealthy man reading yesterday? Was it Taurus? No, it wasn't Taurus. I think it was Cancer. I think it was the last reading I did yesterday. Yeah, check out the cancer reading. You could be dealing with a cancer. Wealthy man. Bad health. Mature woman. Message. Some of you could be getting a message from a mother figure, an auntie. It is an elder. I do think that this is a family member with the main male being here. You could be hearing, unfortunately, that somebody is sick. Okay, they could have health issues here. This could be a masculine with health issues. And this feminine energy could be reaching out to you. This could be predictive or this could have already have happened. Somebody's not in the best of health. And I do think it's a masculine. Switch it if you need to. But I feel like a masculine is in ill health. And a woman, a feminine energy is going to be sending you a message regarding this person. Or what's going on here. Coffin. Concern. Tell me about coffin. Poverty. Okay. Okay. Great fortune in the reverse. Somebody could be taking a loss here. <coughs> Excuse me, I just felt the need to cough. We're not going to go too much into this, but somebody could be losing somebody here. It could be a illness that is, yeah, quite um, severe here. And you could be hearing about this. Great fortune in the reverse main female message of concern yeah there's definitely this could be somebody's husband somebody's spouse concern message of concern courtship somebody could be very worried about money as well in relation to whatever this is we're not going to delve too deep into this but yeah i've got to give you what i'm getting coffin poverty somebody could be concerned about how they're going to be paying for a a funeral wealthy man bad health mature woman and message okay i'm gonna leave that alone i don't give health reason readings and i don't kind of delve too deep into matters of health okay so that could be a message for somebody do not take it on if it is not for you okay sorry to deliver such a um negative message a sad message right let's get you some tarot um leo and my condolences if that is your message let's see messages for the sign of leo i hate to have those cards come out obviously 
I read cards, so it's likely that things like that would come out, okay? And I can see it very clearly in the cards when it does, but yeah, it's never nice to pick up on that type of energy. So very sorry for anybody that is for. I hope it's not for anybody today. That particular message. Let's see, messages for Leo. What does Leo need to be aware of? Please and thank you. The devil in the reverse. The high priestess. The judgment in the reverse. The empress. Tell me about the devil in the reverse. The Leo. Messages for Leo. Devil in the reverse. Three came out. Four, actually. The eight of wands. The five of cups. Okay. High priestess. The ace of cups. Somebody could be looking into your love life, Leo. They could be getting readings on you, specifically love readings. Readings about your love life or your... This could be somebody who's interested in you romantically. Somebody could be getting readings on you about how you feel about them, whether they're going to be chosen or something like that with the King of Swords in the reverse. Queen of Swords. The Hierophant, you could have divorced this person or you could be going through some sort of breakup. You may not be too happy with this person at this time or them, you. There could be some sort of conflict going on in some sort of marriage here. This could be a divorce, ten of coins, yeah. There could be some sort of argument or dispute about family um, money or within a family dynamic as well. We're going to clarify what that is. Tell me about the judgment in the reverse for Leo. We've got the Knight of Coins. There's one card here that I really want to clarify specifically. Um, the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Let me just clear my nose one sec. I'll be right. Sorry about that, Leo. My sinuses are a little bit better than what they were with my allergies. Page of Wands and the Worlds with the Nine of Wands. Somebody could be at a crossroads about you. They may not know how you feel. This could be somebody who you had some sort of missed opportunity with in the past. This could be a Sagittarius, a Virgo. We have fire sign energy here. Mm. Someone feels scared about coming towards you. They could feel like the reception that they're going to get from you is not the best. Maybe this person's blocked from your energy or you could have turned your back here on this person. With the world cards and the page of wands, somebody could be wanting to talk to you about a, a, a cycle that you completed with them in the past. OK, Leo, let's unpack this. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra possibly as well. We've got Taurus energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. There's two feminine energies here, okay? So you could be dealing with a third party situation for some of you. You could have children with somebody or you could be a, there's, there's a masculine in the middle of two feminines with the knight of coins and there could be a masculine put yourself where you go okay um there could be a masculine this could be you this could be somebody else who is deciding amongst two feminine energies he feels very burdened very weighed down with the ten of wands um 
for some of you in a dynamic, one person is expecting a child, but don't take that on if that is not your story. There is a queen of wands here and an empress. There is somebody who he feels um, a lot of attraction for, okay? And there's somebody who he may see as more of, of a long-term prospect for him, an, an asset long-term, some sort of longevity with. With the Knight of Coins, this could be somebody who is who has dragged their feet a lot, okay, on making some sort of choice with the judgment card here. You could be this Empress, you could be this Queen of Wands, you could be this Knight of Coins. I don't know who you are. Put it, put it where you need to. With the judgment in the reverse, somebody has really, really procrastinated, stalled, stalled, stalled a decision, okay, in a very big way with the Knight of Coins and the judgment in the reverse. This could even be somebody who's thrown their hands up and is not making a decision, but the weight is becoming too much for this person. It's like this person feels backed into a corner, okay? Somebody could be getting readings, whether this is one of the feminine energies or one of the masculine, the masculine energy. OK, there's one masculine here. I feel like if this is the masculine energy that's getting readings, this could be somebody who's who's trying to get readings to establish where he should invest his love to or who he should invest in romantically. You know, where will his cup be kind of favoured the most? OK, that's what I'm getting. If this is a feminine energy who is getting readings, love readings specifically. I'm seeing a big energy about love readings. Somebody's going to a higher priestess to get clarity on a situation within this dynamic. Definitely, definitely. Um, somebody may not like what they're hearing as well in a reading. So if this is you that's about to maybe get a love reading or you are considering getting a reading in some sort of third party and you know there to be a third party. You know there to be a third party. You may be disappointed with the communication that you receive from this reading, um, from this high priestess energy, this tarot reader, whoever this is. This is quite specific, so please do not take this on if this is not for you. I feel like somebody's going to be very disappointed about what they hear in a reading. Somebody could also be disappointed that they are not going to be chosen in a situation, okay? There could be somebody trying to get readings to, dis to see if a masculine is going to choose them. Or this could be the masculine that is getting readings, about who he should choose or where he's, he's cut, his love will be, he, he's very, very split, he's, he's very, very um, torn, you've got a masculine here who's very torn between two feminines, I don't know the situation as to how he's becoming, put, in, put himself in this situation or how this came to be, we're going to delve a little bit deeper about that specifically, Someone also could be disappointed and regretful that they have been found out, okay? Especially if you've recently found out that somebody had a third party. Somebody, it's like somebody really wants to keep two people, okay? Um, yeah, some, <laughs> there's a masculine here who really doesn't want to make a decision. I can't get away from that. So he's not making a decision, but it's, 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 not feasible it's becoming too hard okay somebody could be very sorry that they've been found out or outed for some sort of double dipping here going between two feminines let's delve a little bit deeper death card the empress he could be choosing to end something with a taurus or a feminine energy who he could have children with in order to choose the queen of wands it's, there's a masculine with a very hard decision here messages for leo tell me about this high priestess and the ace of cups energy the page of swords somebody's trying to find out info Somebody's seeking a tarot reader. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Whether this is you, are you spying, Leo? Are you getting tarot readings on somebody? 
love reading specifically with the page of wands yeah messengers you're getting messages from somebody a high priestess with the seven of cups to gain some clarity and confusion this is what i see this is what i see it could be a gemini libra aquarius involved somewhere tell me about the ace of cups Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Which way should I go? Where should I invest? The Ten of Wands. This person is increasingly burdened. It's almost like they've got this reading or they will. And it's like it makes the decision even harder. Okay, there's one masculine here who does not want to let go of two feminines. The Queen of Wands. What am I telling you? It could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. That is one of these. Yeah. <laughs> With the Chariot card. An Aries, Leo, Sag. That he is, is one of these feminines. And I'm kind of saying it from this perspective because you could be anybody in this story. When there's more than one feminine um, or there's a masculine with two feminines, it's very hard to pinpoint sometimes who is who in the reading. So this could be a cross-watcher reading. Tell me about the Knight of Coins. The Three of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. This person could be working towards some sort of level of success here as well. They could keep their self busy. This person could be gaining some sort of um, success with their work. But this is somebody who's also procrastinating. They're not acting. There's a big delay setback. And I feel like it stems from somebody not wanting to make a choice. Who is this Queen of Wands? The High Priestess, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. If the High Priestess, if sorry, if the, um, with the Page of Cups, if the Queen of Wands, the Fire Sign, he could be dealing with a Fire Sign in Aries, Leo, Sag. If this person is the one who's getting the readings with the Ten of Swords, they could be finding out with the Ace of Swords. The communication could be that somebody's slipping away from them. Give me some on the Empress. Tell me about this Empress now, please. Eight of Cups. Five of Wands in the reverse. <clears throat> The Four of Swords in the reverse. This could be somebody who he wants to make up with. There could be an Empress, a Taurus specifically. It doesn't have to be that sign that he's going to be reconciling some sort of conflict with in, in from the past. With the Justice card, yeah. There's something that he's going to be making right with somebody. Or a person's going to be making something right. And I know I keep saying he... It could be a feminine. This could be all feminines here and there's one that's a bit more masculine, okay, between these two feminines. The Queen of Wands, the fire sign, could be finding out that the masculine is choosing this earth sign empress energy. Doesn't have to be those signs, though. Tell me about this five of wands in the reverse with the seven of pentacles. He's previously invested in this person in the past with the Eight of Swords. He could be very stuck on that person. Tell me about the judgment in the reverse. Very specific story. I'm sorry if this is not your reading. Just come back next time. Next time. The hanged one. Yeah, he's really stuck. He's not moving. Stuck on a decision. Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I have the fish or do I have the chicken? You know, do I have the donut or do I have the cheesecake? With the five of swords, six of pentacles. How am I going to win in this situation? Where do I invest my love? I'm telling you, there's a masculine that is torn between two feminines. Tell me about the devil in the reverse. Page of cups. Somebody may want to apologise to you if this person is with somebody else with the Hierophant about a connection. Taurus energy. Again, this person could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. I really do get strong cross-watcher vibes. So if you are not predominantly the Leo, this could be a Leo that you are dealing with. Switch it if you need to. 
somebody could want to apologize for having a, another connection as well especially if they've been found out and they tried to keep both people or they weren't making a decision they omitted the truth somehow somehow they forgot to tell you that there was a whole nother person or they didn't forget they decided not to tell me about the five of cups and the eight of wands the three of cups I do feel four of ones. I feel like, okay, I, I feel like as I'm going through this reading, right? Remember I said somebody's getting love readings. There's somebody, there could be multiple people who's getting readings about a specific situation. Absolutely, right? There could be a masculine who's trying to figure out where he should give his cup to. Um, and there could also be this, I'm really feeling inclined that this is the Queen of Wands energy, the fire sign, the Aries, the Leo, the Sagittarius moving kind of secretive with the seven of swords and the ace of swords to gain clarity from a high priestess because the high priestess has come out and whatever this high priestess is telling this queen of wands this fire sign aries leo sag which is one of the feminine energies in this dynamic with the ten of swords they could be feeling like this masculine is going to leave because of what they've been told now whatever this is the eight of wands, whatever they're hearing from this high priestess, okay, this reader, um, if this is not a reading that this person is getting, this could just be a third party, another person in the mix, making it four people, somebody who this masculine talks to, that is letting this person know that they are edging towards someone else, but I'm very strongly, I'm not even getting that, I have to put that out there, because not everybody gets readings, but there's an energy here of somebody getting a reading from a high priestess with the three of cups and the four of wands and the judgment <laughs> somebody could be finding out within a reading that somebody's made a decision on a connection to reconcile with somebody or to go elsewhere to have some sort of partnership here that's what i'm getting how will this end up like i'm really like flawed by this reading like i don't saw the eight of cups and the queen of swords in the reverse someone's being left out in the cold this masculine is edging towards a decision how will this end up please how will this end up for this masculine here the eight of pentacles the moon in the reverse he's going to be revealing where he's going to be putting his efforts and his energy with the seven of pentacles and i do feel like it's the person from the past Somebody who he thinks about, somebody who he goes back and forth about, somebody who he previously invested in, something like that with the eight of swords in the reverse. He's no longer going to be stuck in analysis paralysis. I see I see somebody making a decision here with the page of swords. Yeah. A lot of inquisitive energy. It's like three people don't know what's going on. And it's because of this masculine dragging his feet with the three of wands in the reverse. People are becoming ruffled, not able to have peace. Impatience is here because a masculine has dragged his feet with two feminines. How will this end up? Three of swords. Yeah, there's the third party energy, the strength card and the world card. Yeah. There's your energy, Leo, with the strength card. This will end up with somebody being left out in the cold and something else being chosen with the king of swords. Somebody's going to be very upset. Somebody's going to be angry, possibly bitter. They could be very spiteful when this happens. And I don't feel like this masculine has done himself any favours whatsoever with putting himself a page of wands in the reverse. How he's handled this situation is not the best. I feel like this. there's a masculine here who has been playing two sides. I do feel like there's a masculine who has had two feminines waiting for him. Possibly false promises between these two feminines. And he's created a situation where he's kind of backed himself into an analysis paralysis type of situation. Some sort of burden where he's going to have to make a decision because things are becoming very heavy. He possibly can't even handle the capacity of having these two feminines a part of his life anymore is what I'm seeing. He could also um, kind of bury his head in the sand, whoever this is, and he's about to make a decision. You could be finding out that somebody is choosing another person. 
you could be finding out that this masculine is going back to reconcile from somebody in his past or her past, whoever. You could be the masculine who's making a decision on these two feminine energies. Flip it if you need to. You could be the past person who is wondering what's going on and somebody has got themselves into, you found out about another person, a third party, and there was a lot of conflict here and somebody could be coming back to you. Take it as it resonates. There's three different perspectives that I'm seeing on this table. Either or, there's a masculine making a decision and one person's going to be very, very upset. What's going to be happening with the person who's being left out in the cold if this is you, Leo? Four of, yeah, four of pentacles and the knight of wands in the reverse. You will be let go of, you will be released if that is you, the person who is being released. With the three of pentacles in the reverse, somebody will not be working with you. That's if you are the person who maybe you've got a reading recently and it's told you something that you didn't want to hear. And you could be being released. So brace yourself for that. If you are not the one that's getting released, the masculine's leaving something else. Nine of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody is becoming taken not single like definitively i don't see anybody as single here anyway but there's a masculine who hasn't at, at the very least committed to anybody so somebody is becoming taken two of cups in the reverse and somebody else is being left or disconnected from with the three of wands this has been a long time coming. Why has the masculine done this? Like, my brain is hurting me. Why has this person done all this? The emperor in the reverse. It was about control. The four of swords in the reverse. The three of cups in the reverse. And the page of wands because they're immature. They've got control issues. If, this is, if you are the one that's getting chosen, be careful of somebody just having wanting control it being an ego boost to just be in control of being able to choose somebody's definitely got to stop holding back and procrastinating but there's a control issue here a big one and with the three of cups in the reverse he's kind of whoever this masculine is it's kind of turned something into a unhappy dynamic for two people page of wands because it's kind of like the way that this, I keep going back to that, the way with the hand one in the reverse, even if you are the one that this masculine is going to choose in the end, if you like, or come towards, you know, think about how somebody handled something here. You know, everybody has free will, but with the hand one in the reverse, I do feel like some of you, if you're the person who they're coming towards, some of you are just going to think, nah, the way that you handled that situation, you, you really handled that like a child. And with the three of cups in the reverse, some of you may refute this offer. Some of you may leave it where it's at. Because somebody abused some sort of position here to the max. To the absolute max. High priestess in the reverse. Three of wands. Yeah, there's definitely a big spiritual energy. Somebody seeking spiritual guidance. Definitely getting that. Definitely getting that. Last card, King of Swords in the reverse, Hermit in the reverse, and the Eight of Cups, yeah. <sighs> Somebody is going to be very, very upset here in this dynamic. There could be a person here who is being left out in the cold that they're not gonna they're not gonna go down without a fight, put it that way, with the hermit in the reverse. This is gonna be somebody who refuses to be ghosted or refuses to be out of the picture. With the eight of cups. Because they've been walked away from. They've been dropped with the two of pentacles, the knight of swords. There's a lot of anger coming from an individual, and I do feel like the instigator in the middle of these two feminines or this this it could be masculine man woman whoever but two people in very feminine energy that have been waiting on a masculine to make a decision or somebody else a third person there's definitely a free piece here to make a decision 
and they haven't and they possibly have been left on red. They possibly have been toyed with. And when this masculine makes the choice to go towards one of these feminines that he's been playing with, the other feminine is not going to go down without a fight. This is a feminine who is going to do the most. But it's down to the masculine and how he handled the situation. He could have made this a lot easier on himself. But he didn't do that. And now he's created a messy situation and he's burdened by that. Put yourself where you go, Leo. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Leo, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.